Hello and welcome to this video. I'll be showing you how you can use a couple of the new features in Spine to quickly set up your characters. And the first thing I'll do is I'll be using the Spine Boy example for this. So I'm going to change the path here with the uh, images now selected. And this makes it sure that I only see the images that I actually need for this. I'm just going to drag in the template image here, select it make sure that I can't select it anymore then select the slot and tint the slot just a little just so I can easily distinguish uh, the images uh, that I'll be using from my template then with that done just gonna drag in all the images that I actually need for this and with that done I'm just gonna get started creating the uh, bones needed first just uh, collapse the tree here. So, uh, first thing, create a hip bone, and then after that, I want to uh, create the rest of the bone. So, I hold down Shift, and this is one of the new features. And then, I hover over uh, the image that I want uh, the new bone to uh, be the parent of, and I drag the bone. And now, uh, the image below this bone is now parented to that. Then I do the same here for the neck, still holding down shift, and then for the head. Then I uh, select the torso, and I drag a bone here for the upper arm. The reason I select the torso first is that means when I draw a new bone, that will be parented to the uh, uh, previously selected bone. So I'm just going to keep on going here quickly. Draw the bones, like torso again, dot new bone, and we have the hands. Gonna select the hip here, create a bone for the pelvis, then select the hip again, and start creating for the legs here. And then you can see I can these images are quite similar, so it can be a little hard to, to see which is which. But down here below when you hover over them, you can you can actually see uh, the names of them. So, just going to start with the uh, the right side, and there we go. Select the hip again. Do the uh, left side, and there we go. All the uh, bones should now be uh, created. So I'm going to turn off create, and then I'm going to put on bone composition. This means I can move these bones around without actually uh, moving the entire hierarchy. I'm just going to start moving these into place and just going to nudge them using uh, the arrow keys on the keyboard. If they're a little out of place, I'm not going to make a, I'm not really going to spend that much time um, getting into a perfect position here. Just quickly going to going to place them. Uh, this shouldn't take too long. There we go. And almost done here. On the left foot. The right foot. And then uh, the neck. Then I also want to get the the eyes in, so I'm just going to select them here. Click on the slot, hit P on the keyboard to parent the slot to the other the head bone here, and then move the image into place. And I can't really see what's going on, so it's just quickly going to go into draw order here. Hold down Shift and hit Plus. And this uh, moves the uh, we notice the eyes here, it moves it up and down. If I hold down shift, it moves it uh, up and down five. Uh, if I hit minus, uh, uh, it moves it down five. Uh, but if I don't hold shift, it just moves it up uh, either one uh, or down one. So put the eyes there and just gonna get them into a better position. I can now hide the template and just gonna get all these. Uh, set up correctly. There 
There you go. Hide the bones. So it's a little easier to see. And that should uh, that should do it for now. Oh wait, I actually need to get the neck set up correctly here. This should be in front of the torso, but the head should be in front of the neck. So there we go, and the eyes should be as they are. All right, so I can unhide the bones again. As you can see, the positions might need some tweaking. So going to put on image composition as well, just means I can move around the bones without the images uh, following. And again, it's just going to be really rough to, but it's pretty quick to set this up this way. And that should do for now. Then uh, to rename them, I can just select the bones, hit F2 and there we go and to do that for all of them well just select them hit f2 and i can just quickly check that the hierarchy is set up correctly I need to turn off conversation again and everything looks to be okay so we have a character that is uh, pretty much ready to animate still could use a little tweaking on the image placement but it's ready to go just uh, gonna select all these uh, images that I'm not using them now hit H on the keyboard to hide them and we are set to animate so I hope this uh, video has been helpful and I'll see you soon for more videos uh, on the various new features that we are implementing over the uh, next uh, couple of months so I'll see you then bye for now Thank you.